What's up, Kane's family? Back with another video. You did. Yeah, I'm wearing the house coat because I'm sick of this bullshit that Manny is bringing us. We have lost to Georgia Tech. <clears throat> A team that went from the triple option to spread shotgun option slash RPO. The shit we ran last season pretty much, y'all. Now, I sat there and said this in my rant video. I said this in my rant video. Georgia Tech ain't no pushover. They had, their defense is pretty decent, if you ask me. And it showed. I said they were nothing but a quarterback away from being on the same level we on because of our coaching staff. Not saying for the talent level, from the coaching staff. All they had to do was put in number four like they did, and they moved the ball. All they had to do. I said on my last video, if Enos calls the same kind of calls that he did against Virginia Tech, then they were going to lose. I said if the defense ain't taken over by Manning, they were going to lose. Everything I said happened. Everything that I ran about, it happened. Am I upset? When, I, when we lost that game, yeah, I was going to drop a rant video that night, but... I had to take me a day or two off from this because I have to hear my god brother talk about damn Georgia Tech the rest of the season. I have to hear it all the way to next season. Do you hear me? I go to the Georgia Tech Miami games when they come to Atlanta. And I have to hear this shit over and over again. Bro, what the score was to the Miami Georgia Tech game? What was the score to it? I have to hear that. And I sit there, and the reason why I said, y'all, that we were going to lose against Georgia Tech because we lost to Georgia Tech last season. We had Mark Rick, vanilla offense, but had a good defense. So I put two and two together. We got a we got a first-year coaching staff, pretty much. They act like it. They act like they can't take no credibility, as y'all can see. So what I did, I put two and two together. And we struggled with a head coach that did 13 seasons, 12, 13 seasons at Georgia. Won SC titles back to back and shit like that. Imagine if we lost with him. How in the hell are we gonna do with a coach that don't know what the fuck he's doing? Oh, we're gonna lose. I don't give a fuck if Georgia went to a goddamn offset, all set, shotgun, whatever. We were gonna lose. Just because of the fact is how we've been playing from the beginning of the season to now. I knew we were gonna lose. This coach staff is a laughing stock in college football right now. Tulane might whoop our ass. How bad this coaching staff is getting out coached? All we need is a, all we need to play against is a team that has a motivated coach that brings passion to his team, and we will lose the game with a scrambling quarterback. If it, if the team got a dual quarterback that can run and pass, we will lose the game because Manny is not controlling trying to control the defense no more. The offense play calling, shitty. Start to play action. I've been saying that I've been saying that over and over again. Over and over again. You know, when you do play action, that doesn't give your quarterback the best chance to perform great. You should see that by now. If Jaron was in there, we'd get knocked out. You seen when Jaron got in the game, shit, it was no different from, when, from the first few games he started. Statue of Liberty, not running. Hold the ball, don't know how to get rid of the ball, nothing. Sacked. Taking sacks at the wrong time, taking sacks, period. Rather than get the ball out your hands or running. Jaren is not going to get any better than what he is. Y'all just have to face that. That's who he is. Nothing wrong with it. He'll be a great quarterback behind a great offensive line. But behind a shaky offensive line, he's going to be horrible. Which is facts. We've seen it. Now, y'all have to get the light back on. Now, when it comes to Nikosi, Nikosi did all he could do. He ran the system like he don't want it. I can't blame the quarterback. I hate to say it like that. I know y'all don't want to hear that. Can't blame the quarterback. He did all he could. We didn't target Brevin Jordan a lot. We didn't get a lot of plays involving Brevin Jordan. Uh, we didn't put Peyton in. We didn't put Hightower in. We didn't put a lot of wide receivers in that, that probably could have gave us a different way. 
and broke away from the defensive backs because they were playing man. Um, but when I told y'all before, the coaching staff don't know how to rotate players out. And then if you see a player not playing right, rotate his ass out. Get somebody else to take his place. DJ Ivan, you are now officially J.R. Smith. They used to play with the Cavaliers. That cost them, cost them that game. They made a boneheaded play, and you keep making boneheaded plays. That's just fall on him as a player. The tackling, yeah, it was bad, but like I told y'all before, if the coaching staff don't lie to us, imagine how the players feel. They can't trust it. They they morale is down. They like, okay, well, if I do bad, he ain't going to never take me out. And he didn't take DJ Ivy out. And then you got DB's, DB's the back that's sitting on the sideline. and like, damn, I'm busting my ass every practice, but I'm still not getting in. But they probably be ballers when they get in. Like, couch. They probably put couch in the fourth quarter. Like, come on, man. Come on. Should have been rotating. And why you still... When we start... This is another question I got to ask y'all. When have we actually start just having one running back, like we in the NFL, having one running back just run the ball the whole entire time. If one running back ain't doing it, we're going to rotate him in, let him do something, rotate the one back in, or rotate the third in. We're going to rotate them three in and keep the running back legs fresh. What happened to that? What happened to rotating our wide receivers? What happened to rotating tight ends? We acting like we in the NFL. We only got one setup, and that's it. If y'all ain't paid attention, that's how they keep one setup in them. You got other players on the team. Then you put a linebacker in on number 34. No offense. I don't know who you are, guy. But it was kind of horrendous. Like, you put a walk on on before you put Johnny in. And he was dressed fully padded. But it was the other one, the other linebacker that wasn't in. I understand certain linebackers play certain roles. I understand that. But when you got a linebacker sitting on the sideline, you put a linebacker in and let them figure that shit out. That gives us a better opportunity. Fuck practice. These boys ain't showing y'all who you really is in the game time in practice. You playing each other the whole time. Of course they're going to show out. They know each other. Dumbass. Duh. Come on, Manny. These guys know each other. Of course they're going to show out if they know the weakness of their own teammate. Dummy. Come on. Figure it out. But as far as the coaches there, we got no choice but to stick with that because uh, James don't pay them. So we got no choice but to stick with this shit for another damn season. I think it's the third option where we can pick that third option up. Hopefully, yeah. Hopefully, James was smart enough to put that third option on there. Um, other than that, man, I ain't got no rant for y'all, man. I just, I don't know about y'all, but I'm really just numb to it now. Like, I'm gonna be numb as long as Manny Diaz there. I'm just gonna be numb because he don't stick to his word, and he got coaches that he just letting do whatever. It just, I'm just like, it's time. For, it's really time for us to move on. And I see people in the comment section talking about something. If Manny do this next season, after y'all gonna be on his dick, or y'all gonna be like, "Oh, Manny the guy." First of all, it ain't about Manny; it's about the program. And if Manny Manny knows just like we know, either you cut out for this shit or you ain't. Uh, my whole thing is Manny. I'm going to tell y'all straight up <clears throat> how I feel because this is always my opinion. It's never facts. But I see the game just like anybody else see the game. You see you're not doing the job right. And you see shit going down here. You get decommits left and right. I understand. I understand if you ain't coming to Miami, then we don't want you. I get that. It's all fine and dandy. But if you get the commits, then why are you not playing them? Why are you not rotating these guys in? Let, them, let these people ball and get the experience. Find out who your ballers are. Start finding out who your practice pra your practice ballers are and find out who your game time ballers are. And why are you still kicking the damn ball when you got no kicker? I mean, come on. What sense does that make? Just either punt the damn ball or go for it. Might as well. Because that's about the same risk you take in kicking the field goal at this point. But through and throughout, I'm still a hurricane at the end of the day. I don't have to prove that shit to nobody. Kiss my ass, I got a tattoo. <laughs> you see it? Slap the TV, y'all check them out too. I still got, I, I still hurricane y'all. So, you know, God bless, man. Great to be Miami Hurricane. Hit stick, bust it. I'm out.